Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. We're just a couple of kooky, crazy kids in love. The love reaction from Dragon Ball Z Kai. We do indeed. So this is Dragon Ball Z Kai episode 142. Um, we're going to see, you know, the two boos battle it out. Yeah. If you want all of our Dragon Ball Z Kai reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you. Yeah. Are you ready? I mean, as ready as I'll ever be. Okay. Previously on Dragon Ball Z Kai. Boo. But the ordeal unleashed in anger, Boo could not... The person who made this watch ER and Grey's Anatomy is like, but are you sealing the bullet inside them? Because that can be bad. <laughs> I worried about that with the puppy. One evil, one good. The fight for domination begins now. Come on, Majin Boo. I know. Come on, good Majin Boo. Fat Kirby. We'll call Fat him Kirby. Fat Kirby because... Yeah. Skinny Majin Buu doesn't have a cute title. <laughs> he has no cute nickname. Well, we had called him Keto Kirby at one point, I think. No, Keto Kirby is pink. Oh, that's true. We've not met Keto Kirby yet. Okay, that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. They just make me happy. I know. Fight it out, fight it out to the end of earth. Hame, hame, ha. Come on, Fat Kirby. Oh, this doesn't bode well. No. <gasps> Oof. Oh, crap. Yeah, Fat Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> Chance. When they split off into two manifestations, the evil Boo took most of their power to his Oh. You need to team up with Majin Buu or Fat Kirby. Take out the evil Majin Buu. Boo gonna turn you into chocolate! Huh. Oh shit. No! Oh no. Bad <gasps> Kirby. to be cannibals. <laughs> there he is. Freaking Keto Kirby. Ah, okay, this is getting all kinds of peculiar. <laughs> oh, damn. What was that? Is that Majin Buu? It was the sound of ultimate suffering. Hmm. <laughs> Seriously, dude? Yep. <laughs> Nothing good. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Shane, get the puppy out of there. Yeah. Should I even ask what that energy was? Majin Buu has just transformed. <laughs> Means. I don't like the sound of your voice. I mean, we're still going to be okay, right? Don't count on it. No. Stronger. We've got Trunks and Goten and they can fuse now. Goku told us that would be enough. Before. I hope he's right. 
like Boo, but it's changed. What's happening? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's par for the course. <laughs> um, <laughs> not to worry so much. I'm working as fast as I can. <laughs> Somehow that's hard to believe. Yep. <gasps> Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you were part of the dog killing mission, so. Oh my god, he's terrifying. Oh! Oh, now he's terrifying. What the hell? Absorbed him, blew him up, and then absorbed him. I don't know, but that was really disturbing. Mm hmm. No, 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 no. It's a part of him, the innocent part taking over. Okay, we're still protecting the puppy. Entire time. I, I must have scared him good. He took one look at my bulging biceps and flew off like a... That's what it was. Yeah. Not me, the strongest fighter in the whole world. Not even Majin Buu would want to try his luck against this bold and burly fighting. Dude, maybe brag from the safety of another location. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying put the puppy down. Uh, we're okay. Boo, let us go. Whatever kind of horse. Jesus. It all seems hopeless. Yeah. Will resume their training as soon as they've had enough rest to bear it. What now? It's coming for them? Holy crap. Oh my god. He looks psychotic. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. You can sense our energy now. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of like Mr. Satan's a little bit. I heard it. A little it. bit toned down, though. Yep, I hear it. Yeah. You know, say anything, you just their head tilted and laugh menacingly. It's like a whole new creature. <laughs> You'll kill us all. Yeah. What was he saying? Produce? Produce what? What are you saying? We don't understand what you want. What's produce? You know, carrots and vegetables. It's a good fight. Produce the challengers. How will it- There's, They're napping. Now he's scarier and can track us down as well. Can't we get good news? <laughs> what was all that shouting? You better not be here to make trouble. <gasps> She's got a broom. The bad guy. All of those guys that you're looking for, they'll show themselves in three. 
Can you give me that? You're early. <laughs> They're sleeping. Then you go wake them up. No, you don't understand. They're not ready to fight yet. They need sleep. No, I cannot do this. I hate waiting. Like hell, he's fighting my son. My family's been through enough. I'll drive him off. No one ma Yeah, GG. You'll just get yourself killed. Yeah. You know what kind of monster he is. It's no use. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. If they fight now, they won't stand a chance. I have to buy time. At Pickle's gonna fight him. Weren't you doing that for fun? Mm -hmm. Well, there's still quite a few humans down there you haven't killed. Oh my God. Ooh, Mr. Piccolo. I promise we will. <sighs> He's gonna take them all out in one swipe. That's it. He's using the lookout to find the rest of the survivors. Yeah. What's the guy doing? A victory lap? He's acting like he owns the place. Kind of does. They'll keep training in there. Now's the time to use it. We have to maximize every minute. Mm -hmm. Give the boys this message. Unless they want to die as children and let the world end. Oh, no pressure. Go. Okay. Go at last. Gohan's training remains incomplete. When the Kais can only wait, the boys must push fusion to a new level, or they'll be lost. Next, Dragon Ball Z Kai. They did a great job making this Majin Buu terrifying. I mean, from when he first, the first person, well, I guess the second person he killed, but in his new form, in, in Keto Kirby form, the first person he killed, like just going up and into him and blowing him up, but then like he becomes a part, oh, that was sick. Yeah, it's kind of how I wish the dog killer had gotten it. And, yeah. and he was in the dog killer group. So, I mean, no love lost there. No. But the dog killer himself, just kind of got blown up real quick. Um, this guy suffered a bit more and was was tortured with fear before he died. And I wish that had happened to the dog killer. Yeah, uh, the animation in this one, like the just like his facial expressions and everything, is very terrifying. They do a good job. Yeah, I mean the the facial expression he has to just look psychotic. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm appreciating even more now the great job that they did with the original Majin Buu, because even his upset face had that air of childlike yeah. qualities and, and and almost like a, a innocence or a, a lack of maybe full understanding of what was going on or, or like his own emotion and emotional response. Um, whereas this guy looks in control, mm -hmm. very aware in full understanding, and he's gonna kill everybody. Really frustrated with uh, what's going on with, with <laughs> Gohan. I think like we're all just as frustrated as he is just sitting there like waiting for this guy. Um, and Gohan's been out of action like basically this in, entire time ever since yeah. he was like Super Saiyan man. Now it's just like he's been on the sidelines. Um, so that kind of sucks. Sucks very much. Um, I'm, I am hoping that he pulls out an incredible Hail Mary that saves the day to make this all worthwhile, but yeah. still frustrating in the, uh, in the meantime. And I'm very worried for Trunks and Goten. Yeah. Um, I was kind of worried for them before when Majin Buu seemed so formidable. Mm. Um, but now they make that Majin Buu seem like child's play and like nothing. So this is that much more concerning to have him go up against, have those two go up against him. Um, and also I really wonder how Chi Chi and Bulma are going to respond to their boys going up against this guy. I mean, yes, Chi Chi was ready to fight him with like a mop or a broom or something yeah. right now, but um, he's worse. They all can sense that Boo is worse. Um, so, you know, sacrificing the boys before when it was like, oh, it's fine. Goku said fusion and nothing can beat fusion. And like he will, they will win against this guy. No problem. Now it's not the same story. So that makes it more challenging. And the way he's walking around does make me think that like he's being able to kill them off uh, pretty easily. Um, everyone that's left on on Earth because he's kind of like surveying like where they all are 
and then how to like do be it like most effectively like kill them all in one swoop. There was a part of him that didn't kill Mr. Satan though. Said his name. Yeah. Didn't hurt the puppy. So I'm wondering how much of the old Majin Buu is is, is in there and, and if they're gonna be able to uh wrestle control away from this this evil portion portion of uh Majin Buu. Um but it, probably not. It was interesting that they said how essentially Majin Buu is now it's it's the worst parts of him who are now in yeah. control of him. Um so with our old Majin Buu being able to intercede on behalf of the puppy and Mr. Satan, it makes you wonder, like, is he fully aware and just sort of like a passenger on this crazy ride as his worst instincts and worst parts of himself take full control? Or was that something where like he had to fight so hard just to get into this one moment and he's otherwise maybe somewhat unaware? Obviously for him to have any positive impact, we'd want the former, but the fact that Majin Buu is essentially a big kid, I, I kind of hope for the latter because this is, I think, going to be really devastating. Well, I mean, you know, he got so angry and upset at, at that one point that like, or, you know, he was trying to get so much, so many conflicting emotions before because he was trying to be good. And then, but he was getting so angry and, you know, there was so much rage and anger pent up to him that like it ex expelled from him. So I'm wondering if that can happen again. And then the Majin Buu, Fat Kirby that we love, can get expelled, but like take all the power with him when he mm. gets gets expelled. Um, that's a good idea. So, don't know if that's if that's possible. That's gonna happen, but I'm you know I'm holding out hope. The whole setup with Majin Buu before he became split kind of makes me think, um, sort of in in psychology, you know, when there's been a huge trauma, um, mm. like Majin Buu's response, like they're holding the head, they're not really yeah. being able to deal with it. Just seems like somebody who is being tortured by a trauma that they were unable to process. Um, and I think this is, I'm, I'm not trained in psychology by any means, but I think what is often depicted in Hollywood entertainment is that when going through a terrible trauma like that, it can lead to that sort of split personality, that, yeah. that separate person because your body needs to process it in some way or pr to protect yourself from the pain in some way. And so when you as the single person entity that you are can't do that, it splits in your psyche to create someone who can protect you from it. Um, so that's way more academic than I'm sure the creators of Dragon Ball Z Kai ever intended, but that is what it made me think of just to see how pained he was by what he witnessed and then how he's dealt with it. I just think you nailed that. I think that's exactly what they were going for. <laughs> Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want our early ad-free access to our Dragon Ball Z Kai reactions, check out the description of this video. We got a link to our Patreon there, yep. as well as a playlist for all of our uh, Dragon Ball Z Kai reactions. So if this is the first time you're checking us out, or if this is the first time you're checking us out, you know, for in a, in a long time, then you know, catch up and you can go ahead and binge. Yeah, welcome or welcome back. Exactly, both of those. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Z Kai episode 142. Would you keep in mind that our reaction is definitely not definitive. <laughs>